Hello my lovelies, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and this is your daily tarot read. Um, I have three decks of uh, tarot cards with me and I also have one oracle card. So what I'm going to do is pull a single card out of um, the angel oracle card deck and then I'm going to do um, three cards from each of the uh, tarot um, decks. The first deck will be about um, what we need to know. The second tarot deck will be um, okay, uh, more information. And then the final tarot deck will be the clarification of all the cards on the table. So the first card's already fallen out from the angel cards. And that is energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. Uh, so that could be that maybe you need to um, look into energy work um, as a possible uh, career, or it could be that you need to go and get energy work done to help unblock anything such as um, Reiki or Kaiguan or whatever it may be or chakra work uh, so take that as you as you find it okay so let's get into the tarot this is a collective reading uh, there is no specific signs that is coming at the weekend uh, so please take what resonates and if it doesn't resonate with you today then check back tomorrow I upload daily tarot reads at 8 a.m. every single day Okay, so first thing we've got is the Queen of Wands. Okay, that's a good card to have. Let's see what else is there. Let's put on all three of these cards out before we uh, delve into them, shall we? So I'm just going to see if there's any jumpers before I start pulling the ones out, that one. Okay, the Seven of Cups. Ooh. Okay, so you've got a lot of courage and a lot of... Uh, confidence within you you're very much in your power at the moment with the queen of wands which is really good because you've got um, some choices that you might need to make and then we've got the page of swords ah, okay okay so the first thing we've got here is the queen of wands so the Queen of Wands is all about, as I said, you're very confident, you're very uh, courageous, uh, and you're a very independent person. Um, I feel that you have some choices to make with this Seven of Cups. So as you can see, you've got all your cups that are nice and filled. This one here has um, got a, a cover over it, so whether or not you go for that one. But you've got some uh, many choices in front of you of which way you want to go. Um, and you being the queen of uh, wands, you've got a lot of, you're very much in your power right now, which is why you've got all your cups filled. So this could mean um, a work-related thing. It could mean a romantic thing. I feel this is more a work-related thing, uh, that you feel that you're very courageous, you're feeling very independent right now. You want to achieve something. You've you, There's something that you've been wanting to achieve for a while. It could be energy work. It could be starting your own business. And they're saying that now is the time to do it because you've got the seven of cups here, which means that you, um, you've got all your cups filled. Uh, your choice is yours, basically. And because you're stood in your power at the moment, you don't have to kind of uh, to and fro it. You, you know kind of where you want to go and what you want to do. Uh, but that is followed by the page of swords, which means new ideas. OK, you've got um, very much a curiosity with this with this card. So you, I feel that you've been wanting to do something for a while and a new idea has come your way or a new idea is on its way to you. And you've got the Queen of Wands, which are very much in your power right now. And you've got the Seven of Cups, so you've got plenty of choice. Um, the, the thing, I, I feel that with this, you've got the Queen of Wands, which means that you're very much in your power. Um, and then you've got the Seven of Cups and you've got plenty of choice. But I feel with these choices, you need to pick one and stick with one. I feel that sometimes with the Page of Swords, you pick one, but you never kind of follow through with it. You pick it and then you kind of get shiny object syndrome and then you just kind of wander off to something else. Uh, so this is saying with the Page of Swords that once you pick the cup, once you make your choice of where you want to, what you want to do or where you want to go with your situation, you need to follow through with it. Okay, 
because I feel this is a new idea. So let's get some more information. So give me more information on the Queen of Wands, please, Angel Spirits, guys. You give us some more. Uh, too many cards, thank you. You give us some more information on the Queen of... Okay. The Devil. Okay. Oh, straight away. Strength. Oh, a couple of major arcana cards here. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So you've got the Queen of Wands and underneath the Queen of Wands is the Devil. So this is going to be a challenge for you. So even though you're stood in your power right now and you're very determined of where you want to go, you feel very confident that you can make this happen. You also feel that this is going to be a very challenging thing for you and you're, you're doubting yourself a little bit. You feel that deep down, you know that you can do whatever it is that you want to do. You know you can achieve it. But you've got that little negative Nelly at the back, just like, or as my coach says, you know, you're in a bitch, kind of, oh, this is going to be a bit hard. It's going to be a challenge for you. I'm not going to deny it. You are going to be challenged with this situation, but that's a really good thing. Sometimes we need to be challenged. Then under the Seven of Cups, you've got the Strength card, which is also alongside the Devil card. So even though this is going to be a challenge... Um, so you've got the devil card. So even though it's going to be a challenge for you, you've got the strength card as well. This is asking you to call on your inner strength. You know you're strong. You've got the queen of wands. So you know you're in your power. You know you're very determined. And it's to call upon that and, and make that bigger so that you can actually stand. Um, you can use your inner strength and your power and determination and your confidence to make the right choice with the seven of cups. And then following on the page of swords, we then have the four of pentacles, which means saving and security. And um, you feel that you've worked hard and you don't want to kind of let something go. Uh, so I feel with this one is the reason why you might find this a challenge is because you kind of got to take a bit of a leap of faith with it. Um, because like you've worked hard in a situation that you're in and you've got a lot of... Um, You've, you've worked your way up, you've got a lot of savings and you're wondering whether or not you should um, move forward with this new idea that you've got. Even though you know deep down you could do it, but you're worried about your financial um, situation. You're worried that you're not going to like um, be earning the, the amount of money that you want to be earning. You feel that you're not going to be um, achieving the success that you're achieving now. So the four of pentacles is just um, underneath the page of swords. So even though you've got this new idea, you're worried about your financial situation with this idea. So let's clarify this and see if that gives us the final answer. So can you clarify the queen of wands and the devil for me, please? The queen of wands and, oh, that one. The king of wands. Okay. That's interesting. That's very really interesting. The King of Wands, Wands, Wands. The King of Wands is that you're a natural born leader. You're an entrepreneur. You want to start your own business. Okay. Um, can you give us some clarification on the Seven of Cups and the Strength card, please? Seven of Cups and the Strength card. Please. Okay. And then underneath that one. I don't read reversals. I'm still new to learning tarot, so I'm only reading it right. Once I get my confidence and I get more knowledge, I will be teaching, uh, I will be doing reversals, but right now I'm not. You've got the moon. Okay. I love the moon cards. One of my favourite cards. Right, we'll go through that in a second. And page of swords and the four of pentacles. Can you clarify the page of swords and the four of pentacles for me, please? Page of swords and the four of pentacles, please. Okay. I don't know which one you want me to take, so I'm just going to shuffle that again. That one there, at the star, the star card. Ooh, this is a good read. Okay, so let's go through the first row first. You've got the Queen of Wands, which is very much in your power. You're very determined. You're very confident of which way you want to go. You know you want to do something, um, and you're very... Um, confident that you can do it but however you've got the devil card which is saying um it's going to be a challenge and that little um inner bitch the negative nelly's coming out going 
It's going to be a challenge though. Are you sure you want to do it? And that's making you have a few little doubts here. Um, but then you've got the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands is a natural born leader um, and he's an entrepreneur. So I feel with this, the Queen of Wands, you definitely want to do something. You want to, get, you've had a, an idea and you want to move forward with it. You know that you can do it. You've got the confidence to do it. You're very independent and um, you know that you're able to do this. Um, I feel this is a business. You want to start your own business. But maybe you've never run a business before and you're feeling a little bit, um, oh, this is going to be a challenge. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to do this. And that little negative Nelly and the inner bitch is coming out. But the king of wands is your natural born leader. You are born as an entrepreneur. You see things very visionary. Um, with the queen of wands and the king of wands, your determination and your focus and your vision and your um, power to achieve, you will achieve greatness in this line of work that you want to do. Because then you've got the Seven of Cups, so there's many choices. I feel like you've got to choose whether or not you stay where you are or whether you move forward with this, this new um, opportunity or this new idea. Uh, and you have to make the choice. Whatever you choose, you're going to be very successful in. But I feel it's what's actually going to make you uh, the most happiest. And they're asking you with the devil card and the fact that it's going to be a challenge that you are going to need to call upon your inner strength to be able to move forward with it. It is going to be challenging. If you want to start a new business, it is going to be challenging, but you can move forward with it. But you've got to call upon your inner strength to be able to keep going. And then underneath that, we've got the moon card. <coughs> Excuse me. So the moon card for me is like your your. Um, your cho never choice. So as you can see here, we've got the white wolf and we've got the dark wolf. And I feel like you can either follow the white wolf and you can lead your way into something that's going to make you happy and make you successful and make you abundant. Or you can choose the black wolf um, and you can keep yourself exactly where you are, where you'll still be successful, but you might not be as happy as you as you could be. So I feel that the moon is like a final choice of the story. Uh, and it's about asking you to use your intuition. What does your heart and soul say that you actually want to do? Uh, and follow that because your intuition cannot lie. Your intuition is always telling you the truth. And then we have the page of swords, which means new idea, curiosity, thirst for knowledge, you know, so... You want to, you need to follow through. If you're going to start your own business, the Page of Swords is telling you to um, follow through with the idea. You can't just drop, uh, put it down and pick it up whenever you feel like it. You've got to be consistent and actually follow through because when you follow through with this new idea, you're going to come out um, very successful. And you're very, you're very worried about um, your money with the four pentacles. You're a bit concerned about all the savings that you've had. And you're worried about um, your financial cut that you're going to have to take. Say if you uh, cut back hours at work or you leave your job to start your own business. Whatever it may be. Um, but you're a bit worried about um, your financial situation if you take this leap of faith. But don't worry, because then you have the beautiful star card, which is all about hope. Um, and it's, again, a confidence card as well, the same as the Queen of Wands. So this is the, the star cards coming out saying there is hope here. You can absolutely do this. You're going to be very successful in the field that you choose to do. But make sure that you're following your heart and soul. Uh, it's also about finding the balance. So it could be about finding the balance of your financial situation. Find the balance of um, starting a new business as well as working. It's about um, sitting down with maybe a big piece of paper. And work out how you can actually do this with everything else you've got going on. And trying to fit it into the nooks and crannies of of your life now and maybe giving up some stuff so that you're able to move forward with this so that's all I've got for you today thank you so much for spending this time with me I really do appreciate it as I said I'm new to tarot so if you've got any other um outcome of this or if you if there's anything else that you interpret the cards out as please do drop them in the comment box below I love to learn from others and it'd be great to know what you think of them and I can incorporate it in mine as well um, if I feel the same way I think it's wonderful so please do drop a comment in the comment box below um, if you haven't caught up with the previous ones then please drop uh, check out the link in the description below um, I will drop I will put the link to the previous videos um, in there for you 
Don't forget to hit that like button and this and share button. Also hit that subscribe and that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video, which is every single day at 8 a.m. plus your star sign ones at the weekend and so much more. So please do hit that notification bell so you can see what's coming up. I hope that whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.